Hey everyone, so in today's video I'm going to be doing these French tip nails using McCart's classic poly gel kit as well as um, some nail decals or nail stickers, whatever you want to call them. So if you want to see how I did these, then keep on watching. So I'm going to start off with my stiletto tips that I cut and there I was just showing you the nails I did previously with this kit which I will be linking down below. So I'm starting off with the base coat that comes in the kit. If you want to see an unboxing of this kit, then I have done that in my previous video. And so far, I'm really liking this kit. The poly gel is super soft to work with compared to some of the other brands I've reviewed on my channel so far. So I'm going to start off with the natural pink poly gel. And I'm applying this with their poly gel brush that also comes with the kit and I'm basically going to be making a nail bed area which was really easy to do so with poly gel just make sure that you're constantly having a, um, a wet brush you don't want it to be dry otherwise the poly gel will stick to your brush make sure that you are able to control your poly gel by patting and putting it where needed Patting usually helps to smooth out um, and push the poly gel and pulling helps you also like push it around just quicker it is a really good way to use poly gel. Um, I've seen some people also gliding, trying to like glide on poly gel. Um, I don't know if that's um, because of like this, the consistency of that poly gel but with Makar's poly gel you really don't need to do that it's pretty much just a pull and pat type of technique and once I'm happy with that I basically made sure to first of all wipe off the sticky layer because I don't want it to gunk up my file so the file I'm using um, is from the kit that comes with the poly gel and I'm basically just making sure that the nail bed area is nice and crisp. So next I'm using the bright white poly gel and this poly gel was also really easy to work with. It is very very bright as you can tell it's not like a milky white it's like a solid white I guess and I'm just I've added a little bit more there actually I didn't show it but I did add a bit more and I'm just making sure to push that poly gel up to the edges so that it actually does look like a smile line and so yeah don't forget to do that because you don't want it to um, just look like a straight line you want it to curve up which is really important and I also want to mention that I'm not using slip solution I'm using rubbing alcohol because the kit does not come with slip solution but rubbing alcohol works perfectly well I've not experienced any lifting, any issues with it it works just the same so now moving on to the index finger I'm just going to repeat this to pretty much all the nails um, and I wanted to include about three of the nails in this video just so I could show you guys how to work with this poly gel or at least how I do it and also how I like to do my nail bed area so I decided to go for like the round, like the oval shape nail bed. You can also do like a pointy nail bed area and um, that would also work really well with this shape of nail. And I really like this color as well. All these shades in this kit are nice and sheer. They're not really opaque apart from the bright white. And here again, I am just filing up that free edge and make sure that you wipe away the inhibition layer because you don't want it to dull or gunk up your file and also I do just file over the surface if I find that it is a bit bumpy but you don't really need to do this now if you don't want to um, because you will be encapsulating this later so here I am just filling in that space with the white poly gel this was probably like really really quick this was like the quickest part of the whole thing it's definitely so easy to work with this poly gel so let me know down below if there's any more macart kits you want me to try because i am definitely going to try those out more in the future 
um, because I really enjoy this poly gel. It's like so easy to work with. Let's say that's like the main thing and it's so beginner friendly as well. And the colors are also really amazing. So if you're looking to buy a poly gel kit, yes, do get this one. Um, I know you've probably had many other people recommending it as well, but for what you pay for, um, you can really create a great look with these with this product so do definitely invest a little more in getting the one with um, I think the slip solution the forms and the mini LED light as well if you can if you can't then um, you're probably just gonna have to use rubbing alcohol and buy yourself a separate little like LED light if you have one already so that's the only downside to that but other than that, um, yeah, great kit, absolutely love it. Works super, super well. Now I'm just going in again with that white that I absolutely love. It's just so easy to work with and so easy to pull around. It doesn't stick to my brush. Um, it works super well with rubbing alcohol, so I'd assume it works even better with uh, the stick solution that would come with the kit. And here I am just finishing off that nail. So I've just done three on camera because I didn't want this to be too repetitive. But I'm basically just gonna decorate all the nails. I've done the other two off camera. And I'm using these heart stickers or decals that I got from Amazon, I believe. I will link everything down below. If I can find it, there are some things that are like out of stock or just, just disappear, like they're not on there anymore. So I'm sorry if that is going to be the case. But you can definitely find some of these on AliExpress if you just type in heart decals and whatnot. And these butterfly ones were from AliExpress, I believe. And I'm just randomly placing these on the nail, some hearts and butterflies. I didn't really know um, what, how like to design these. I just wanted to keep it simple. So I like that these were like not those huge, really like cool looking butterflies. They were just really simple and small. So here I am, my first time trying the Macaque Clear Poly Gel on my nails and my first impression was like, wow, like this is so clear, like you don't know how clear poly gel is until you start to um, use it on your nail because it may look clear when you squeeze it out but it's when you work with it on your nail that you realise, okay, this is like really, really clear, it's not like a... Um, um, cloudy afterwards once it's cured so this is probably the best clear I've used so far like ever and I really like it I'm probably gonna buy a big tube of this now <laughs> because I've been using the um, I think it's the savvy land one and that is clear but it does um, like set a bit cloudy I guess like it's not super clear and it's kind of hard to use like the poly gel consistency is just very hard so when i try to move it around it just gives me a very hard time even when i put like the tube in a bowl of really hot or even warm water it still hardens up pretty quick but this one and my room was cold by the way just letting you guys know like my room was quite cold and this poly gel was working like a dream i was so impressed and here I am just encapsulating everything. I didn't really encapsulate the nail bed all the way to the top because, um, I don't know, I just feel like it didn't need it. It was already quite thick and I had a good apex going on. So I just encapsulated the butterflies and the white. And I was happy with my smile line as well. So I went over that as well. And I'm just finishing up the nails I know you can kind of see the um, like the little line on the nail but that didn't really bother me too much it actually did not show this much in real life so I don't know why it's showing up so much on camera but it's not noticeable at all pretty much in real life so that's why I didn't really bother with that but overall I think these nails just look super cute as well like I usually don't do like French tip but I wanted to challenge myself with the nail bed and using a new product for this video so that's why I decided to go with this look and now for filing so 
I usually try to apply my poly gel so that I, I reduce my filing time a lot because I don't like to file but I do like, like the result that filing gives because I feel like it can just completely change a nail. So when I filed this poly gel, it filed super, super smooth. There was absolutely no issues. Um, even with a fine drill bit and at low speed, it filed super, super fast. Like I was, it was like really incredible. Um, this poly gel, when I was filing it, it was just like nothing that I had really filed before. It's softer than, um, this other poly gel that I used from Amazon it doesn't have a name, it doesn't have a brand, it just says poly gel on it, so I'm sorry, but I have used it in my previous two videos or three videos if you want to check that out. And this filed just as well as that, like it was that soft and it was that easy to file that I had to put the speed down and move to like just using a fine drill bit which filed it to perfection in my opinion um, I did I feel like I did a pretty good job with the edges of the nail so I didn't go in with a hand file afterwards to crispen up the shape I feel like I could have but I feel like it was pretty good already so I just basically evened up the surface which was like super quick it was like I don't know seven minutes the whole hand um, and I then, yeah, there's, I don't know what else I'm to say because that's pretty much it. It was just that easy and that simple and straightforward. <laughs> so yeah, um, if you're interested to know where I got this drill bit from, it is from Amazon. I will link it down below. It's also really amazing. Um, if you're looking for drill bits, then definitely get yourself a nice carbide drill bit um, and avoid ceramic. Um, I've had some people ask me that. So I thought I'd just answer it. Um, with ceramic, I find that um, it, it gets quite hot and it can burn your nail, but with um, carbide, it's not. So definitely look into that if you're looking for a good drill bit set. Okay, so now once I've finished filing, I also buffed off camera. So sorry if you wanted to see that. <clears throat> so here I am, I'm just wiping away that dust and then I'm wiping that dust away even more with some rubbing alcohol and a lint-free wipe. I'm getting underneath the nails as well, don't forget that, it's very important. And this is what the nails look like so far. And then for my favourite bit, which is the top coating. Now, um, on the other hand, I'm wearing the same top coat and I was out today and I was just typing on my phone and then I realised how shiny my nails looked um, I even put up like a little story on my Instagram about it I think I don't remember <laughs> but um, yeah these nails like on my right hand those nails they looked so like shiny I don't know what it was I, they like my attention just kept getting drawn to them that's how shiny they were and yeah it was just insane I've had them on for about a good couple of days now so and it has not dulled yet the top coat so we'll see how long that goes on for but so far I would definitely give this top coat a 10 out of 10 so let's see how long these nails are gonna last for and how long um, the top coat is gonna last on these and um, because yeah it was just really impressive especially for what you pay for which I think I paid like 30 pounds for this kit which is pretty um, good value for money in my opinion and if you are looking to buy this kit then do use my code um, nails by Camin if you want I think 15% off right now um, I will put that down in the description box below but this is the final look I really enjoyed these nails I think they look super super cute let me know what you think down below if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.